This is amazing. Now we have open AI compatibility for Olama, which means you are able to integrate Autogen directly with Olama like this. You are able to create charts and make agents work for you completely local and your data will be completely private. You are able to integrate Olama directly with any Python or JavaScript application. We are going to create a user, then that user is going to talk to AI agent to perform a task, such as finding a stock price. And then finally, we are going to integrate everything in a user interface using Gradio. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about using Olama natively in Autogen. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to integrate that using user, AI agent and Gradio interface. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First up, make sure you go to olama.ai and download Olama. If you're using macOS, download that accordingly. For Linux, you're going to run this command. I hope the Windows version is coming soon. Once after you do that, conda create a hyphen and autogen python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Then conda activate autogen and then click enter. Now pip install py autogen and then click enter. If you're upgrading your py autogen package, just add hyphen u before that to upgrade. Once after installing, you can type olama run and then the last language model which you want to use. I'm going to use code llama 7b instruct, then click enter. This will automatically download the model and it is ready for you to use. Now I'm going to exit this. Now I'm going to create a file called app.py and then open it. First, from Autogen, import assistant agent and user proxy agent. Next, we are going to define the configuration for code llama. The config list, the model name is code llama 7b instruct and the base URL is this. Then you're providing the API key. This could be anything. Next, we are going to create assistant agent with code llama model. Assistant equals assistant agent, then assistant, LLM config. We are providing the LLM config, that is the Olama config. That's it. Next, creating the user proxy agent. User proxy agent and providing the user proxy name. Code execution, the working directory is coding and use of Docker is false. Now we are going to initiate the chat between user proxy and assistant. User proxy dot initiate chat, assistant and the message. Plot a chart of Tesla stock price, change year to date. Get information using Y Finance. I'm using Y Finance because I'm using a basic 7 billion parameter model and also it's a quantized version locally running on my computer. If you are using some advanced model, you don't even need to provide this information. Now the code is ready for us to run. As a quick overview, we set the config of Olama with the model name and the base URL. Next, we created assistant agent, then user proxy agent. Then we initiate the chat and asking a question, plot a chart of Tesla stock price. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. I can see it is initiating the chat and I can see the code automatically got generated. Now I'm going to click enter to auto reply. I got a chart here. Now I'm going to ask it to add more information to the chart. Plot Tesla stock price for the past week and then click enter. Seems like it is using T-E-S-L-A, it should be T-S-L-A. The prompt which I gave wasn't right. So I'm going to ask it again, the same question. Plot a chart of T-S-L-A stock price change year to date and click enter. I'm showing all the errors so that you know some of the models such as local open source large language model might not work immediately. So you might need to try a few times. But if you use something like code llama 70 billion parameter model, it should be able to figure this out and solve immediately. I can see the code here, which is correct. It says executed successfully. So I'm going to add a bit more detail, plot a chart of Tesla stock price change year to date and save the chart in a file and click enter. Finally, it got saved here. I can see that in the coding folder here. If you want to retry your request, you might need to delete this catch. So right click and delete it. Once after you've deleted that, now you can modify the code and rerun it if you want to try again. As simple as that. Now all your data is private and large language model is running locally on your computer. One important thing to note is that you might need to try a few times if you're using quantized version or models such as 7 billion parameter or 13 billion parameter model. Only 70 billion parameter model 
or advanced model are capable of handling more advanced agent tasks. I'm really excited about this. Now we are going to see how we can add a user interface using Gradio. In your terminal, make sure you install Gradio using pip install and click enter. Now in ui.py file, I've imported Gradio as gr and I've modified the code a little bit, moved all the code inside a function called run assistant and passing the message. The message goes to the response variable here. And I have created a Gradio interface with input and output as text. And I can modify this to output image as well. But for a quick test, I'm doing this. Now I'm going to run this Python UI.py and then click enter. I'm going to navigate to this URL. Here is the interface. Now you can ask, what is the stock price of Tesla? And click submit. This is a basic request just to prove the point that you are able to integrate Olama, Autogen, and Gradio together. I added using Y Finance and got the response. I can see the stock price here. You can even modify this code to get only the stock price data. As simple as that. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.